In this example, we're creating the pair illustration. Keep this in mind as you make all the pieces so you know what's happening. We've got a piece of the arrow on the back side here, a piece of the arrow that comes through. Okay, so choose view, straight line to zoom into the left corner of the template. These views you can set up. They've set up already, straight line. Or you can just zoom in with the control zero will give you the whole page and you can always just use the zoom tool as well whichever way. All right, we're going to be making an arrow here. <coughs> we have to use the pen tool. <laughs> click on A, click on B, there's the pen. They want us to increase the stroke to 3. So there's the stroke of 3. Now underneath the eraser tool, there's a scissors tool, and the scissors tool allows you to cut this line segment into two pieces. So we'll cut it. Great. So now we've made this one piece line into two pieces. And we want to put an end on here, an arrowhead. So under Effect, Stylize, Add Arrowheads. Notice it's not this lower stylize, which is for Photoshop. It's the upper stylize, which is for Illustrator. And we don't need anything on the start. And arrowhead 2 is what they suggest. So arrowhead 2. For this piece, we want the start. So we don't need anything on the end. And we want number 18. And there we go. So there's our, there's our arrow in two pieces. Hey, okay, drawing the curved lines. View curved line. This piece up here. Again, control zero will show me the whole page. I can use the zoom tool and I can zoom in onto that curved line. Direct selection tool. I can click on this. And I can see the little handles and I can change these. So if you have a curve that you've made and you want to change it, a couple things to notice again. See how this curve follows the handle and then heads off which whichever way you want it to go. Okay. Again, it follows the handle right through there. And that allows me to make some changes to a curve that's been drawn. All right, so let's draw this first section of the curve. So I'm going to click here at A, draw my handle out, because I'm wanting the curve to follow that direction. That's why I've gone up. If I'd gone this way, then the curve wouldn't be going up. It would be going down. So I'm going to go out to A here. I'll go to B. And I want the curve to go down, so I've gone down. Not quite lining up, but that's okay. And I'll go to C. And there we go. So I've made a curve. You've already done that in the pen tool part one. So a nice little review here. If you're ever wondering which tool you have or you want to do different things, down here in the bottom left, there's a show. And you can show date and time, number of undos, different things, current tool. It takes me to this pen tool. So we're going to actually make the leaf now. So <coughs> this first little curve has already been made, like the curve that we would have made in the previous step. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to add on to this. If I select this curve, I can see it's here, and it's got the starting points, the next point, and then this end point here. I'm going to choose the pen tool, and if I go right, see right now it's got an X, means starting new curve. And right over top of it there, you can see that um, it's got the forward slash that appears. That forward slash means that it's going to continue on on this path. Okay, And right over here, same thing, forward slash is going to continue on on this path. So if I click there, it's just going to continue on drawing as if, as if we had never stopped. So there's my A. Come over to B. And there it is. Deselect. Now if I didn't quite line up, ideally I would have clicked right on that end and there, but I didn't. I didn't quite line up there. Um, there's a couple options. One, I can grab this selection tool here. Well, let me zoom back out. Okay, I have it selected. And I can take this end piece. Oops, I just want this one selected and join it with this one. So I can 
get it to... Okay, there we go. So now it's joined up. If I didn't want to do that, I could also grab these together here and click the connect selected points and it'll connect it with like a little piece, which may be kind of ugly. Um, let's back up here. Do this again. So on A, forward slash, so I can draw my curve, continuing on with the previous curve. B, this time I'm going to join it. See that little circle up here? That means I'm going to join straight on to that old path. And there. Okay, and now it's all one path. So if you missed, you can join them or you can redraw it, get that little circle. Okay, close enough. Now we're going to do the stem. View stem. Go view stem. Or again, we could have just zoomed in. I'm going to zoom in a bit more. So we have the direct selection tool. We're going to click up over here so we can get the handles back. And I believe we're moving one of these handles over. Select the convert ankle tool or just hold down the alt key. Using, using this tool, select the left direction point and drag it to the gold on the template. Let's take a look here. Oh, I see. Yeah. So I'm taking this one, the pen, hold down the alt key, or you can hold this down and get the convert ankle. I like keeping it as a pen and holding down the alt key. If I miss, I get this little arrow, this little warning box. It's not a big deal. Click right here on the handle and bring it down to the gold. Okay, first part. Now the bottom part. So hold down the alt key, grab this one, and bring the handles out. There we go. So we've got that shape the way we want it. So direct selection tool. Select these top two. Right up here I have cut path. So I choose cut path. And now if I, let's zoom in a little so we can see. I've cut the path there. So if I choose this now, if I hold the shift key down, it'll lock it so I just move horizontally. I've cut the path and been able to open it up a little bit. We select these two. Notice I'm using the white arrow, direct selection two. Got these two. And remember earlier we can connect path. There, connected. Scroll zero to see the whole thing. And magnifying glass in if I want or the predefined views. These predefined views, you can make more if you want. You go new view, you can type in a new view. Like let's say I didn't like their pair of view, I wanted it, I don't know, close up. So I can go view, new view, close up, pair. And so now if I was somewhere else, control zero, and I wanted to go back in there, I can go window, no, sorry, view, and there it is, close up pair, and it takes me straight in, okay? So those can be handy if you're working on the same document over and over again. Okay, pen tool. So I'm drawing out this way. Why? Because that's the direction of the curve. Go over to B, drawing out that way because that's the direction of the curve. But now if I was to just keep going, look, it goes to the left. It follows that handle, or that red handle. I can't get it to go the other way no matter what I do. So what I need to do is move those handles so that they go the way I want them to go. So I need to hold down the Alt key and move that handle over to here. Hold down the Alt key, move the handle over to here. Rolling with the mouse ball so I can go up a little. Click, hold to the red, hold down the Alt key, bring it up. Click, hold down to the red, that curve's already good. That curve's already good. This curve goes the right way for me. H. I. Whoa. J. And no, now I can just click, but I won't end up closing it. See that little circle that appears? If I click there now, it'll close off my path. Oh, I should have drew my path out. Oh, well, it's close enough. Okay, deselect that. So that path is done. Let's draw this little one in here. If we want that one, maybe change the stroke color on that so it's not so dark. And 
color. Maybe we'll make it like a, a yellow. Right. Hey, grayscale dilemma. There we go. Hey, control zero. There's all the pieces now. So I have the pair. I've drawn all these things. So I don't need these layers, this background layer on anymore. Get rid of that template. Okay, turn off that template layer. And I don't need these funky things anymore. Highlight and delete those. Here's my arrow. Move it here. This piece of the arrow. Move it in there. The leaves. Now the leaves don't quite fit right, so I'm just going to resize them. Object, transform, scale, 50%. And we're going to rotate this one, transform, rotate, 45 degrees. That ends up looking a little bit better. And the stem, object, transform, scale, 50%. Object, transform, rotate and this time 15 percent. Now we want to fill these. Um, this tutorial has already been has the swatches built in so you don't have to come up with all the things fancy. So I click the pair body right here at the end. Pair body. So it's already been set up with the gradient and everything. The leaf. If I go over to this one here is the leaf and this one here is stem. Very exciting. Now you can continue to go on and hey what happened to this little I want this in the front. Arrange, bring to front. There. Um, so you can go on and you can add some more little lines along the leaf if I look at the tutorial at the beginning here. It's got this little effects and lines and leaves. If you want it you can do that play with it. Otherwise, there you go. There's our pair. Save.